Hello, welcome. We're going to punish this old man and we're going to turn him into a demon. So basically we're going to upgrade the Holy Bible all the way up to the demon. So we're going to go back to here. I'm going to put it on hyper so there's more gold, more luck. Because, yeah, and move speed. Because the mood speed of this guy is pretty slow. Alright, there we go. Took a little bit of time there. So we have to play avoidance since the start because his books are not very strong because they haven't been demonized yet. Alright, so... Pentagram. Because... We're going with the demon theme. It's probably not the most efficient way, but that's okay. We're all about turning people into monsters. Because the real, the real monsters are the friends you make along the way. I assume. Uh, yes. More books. More demons. More possession. Fire peanut. Alright, what do we want? We want... We'll get some armor. In hindsight, probably shouldn't have. But that's okay. Alright. We're going to get the spellbinder for the evolution. Alrighty. Yeah. Got to be real careful. Alright, so... We're going to get... We are going to have to get the Spellbinder. We're going to have to rush Spellbinder and the book, the Holy Bible. So we can turn it into a Playboy. An unholy Bible. Get some health. Nice. Alright, Pentagram to clear it. Sweet. That sort of helps us out a little bit. Sort of re reorganizes the enemies. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, we'll get the wings. He is a little bit slow. We need to play avoidance. Now we've got the bin chickens. Uh, we got the... we got the janitors. It is a bit tricky, because he is slow. We are in hyper, so everything's really fast. But even so, just trying to sort of position properly is a bit tricky. All right, um, probably a good thing I got that armor in the end. We'll get some more movement speed so we can sort of evade. So we need to do a big loop around, get these crystals back so we can try and get some more power because we really need to get more Bibles so we can sacrifice them to only fans to turn them into naughty books all right nice oh we got the jazz hands they take a bit of a beating. Alright, so we need to get some more crystals quick. Probably go with the pentagram again. Just going with the theme. 
It's a theme run. Not necessarily most efficient. Well, it is not efficient at all. Why would you run like this? This is just stupid. But he is a man of holy holiness. Holy holiness, of course. Find an opening. Nice. Makes it a little difficult when they can go through the trees and I can't. But that's alright. Sort of make our way around again. Pick up the crystals. Alright. Still not getting what I need. It's teasing us. It's testing our faith. It's like being 15 again, and you're just, you're fanging for it, but every chance you get, every time, someone's knocking on your door, someone else needs to use the bathroom, someone else needs to use the toilet, just give me five minutes, but no. Alright, so we got to clear, nice. Oh, these guys are tough, though. We got some salmon. They're due for a bin chicken soon, I think. Oh, they're getting they're getting through. All right, I'm kind of hoping that was some floor chicken. Oh, cash, nice. That'll help later on. More unlocks. gonna get the garlic. That'll at least help a little bit if they do start getting a bit closer. And I do like the AoE runs. That sounds dirty, doesn't it? Anyway, it's all that chicken you eat off the floor. That's what's causing it. So we should be due for a pentagram wipe very soon. I could be wrong though. Ah, 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 ah! Got it. Alright, so... Come back around this way. Break, it op break open some salmons. Tunas or salmons. Oh no, the blue ones are tuna. That's right, because there's red ones. The red ones are salmons, because that makes sense. Alright, so... Break these boys open. Break them open using the Holy Bible. Make of that what you will. I'm sure there's a very disgusting joke about the, the church and the Bible and a certain age demographic. Alright, we got the tuners coming in. We got Papa Smurf coming in. Alright, so we're just going to follow the circle. We need more, more gems, more experience. Alright, we're on the cusp. Alright. Alright. Bible. I don't think I've ever been excited to see a, see a Bible. Ever. Except for now. Nice. Alright, so reset. It's always good. Clears the board. Money. Oh, miscalculated. I thought he'd be dead, but no. Those mummy things take a little bit of a, more of a beating than I thought. There's, there's the salmons. The salmons and the tuners living together in harmony, attacking this poor old man just looking for his book. They want the naughty book as well, obviously. Got Godzilla. Alright. See how we go. 
So the garlic sort of helps with the pushback a bit. Alright, um, I'm going to go with a duplicator. So we've got some more projectiles. Bin chickens. Oh, it's floor chickens, sorry. Bin chickens are the bosses. Alright, salmons and tunas. So this is okay when the book is out, but when the book is gone, it gets a little bit dicey. Alright, we got the jazz hands. Need to make a space. Oh, it's getting... It's getting bumpy. Oh, shit. Hang in there, old man. All these... All these... All these guys bullying this old man. It's terrible. Oh, this might be it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, that old man got massacred. All he was trying to do was find his books. Oh, well. There we go. We'll go one more time. So, we did Good Boy, Bone Boy before Poe. So, Poe's got the garlic. Maybe we turned, maybe we were following the wrong old man. Let's go with Poe. We'll go back to the lake. We'll go hyper. Yeah, he's, he's fast. He's also taking damage straight up. Alright, so we want... Uh. Rune Tracer in my last game did a lot of damage. So we'll go Rune Tracer. Yeah. So the garlic isn't great at the start. Simply because the area isn't wide enough. And because these guys are on hyper, it's hard to manage just how close they get sometimes. Even the light posts take a couple of hits. Alright, what do we got? I don't like any of these. Um, we'll go the Lancet. I never usually get the Lancet. Let's see what it's like. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I need some need some chicken. Yeah, this one's gonna be tricky. Uh oh, there's the Bible. Alright. We are holy man now. And this is where we're gonna cop it pretty hard. Alright, so we need to find... I'm not going to be able to find it in time, I don't think. Give me some chicken? No. Fast. Oh, got hit. Alright, angry, angry garlic man. Oh, it's still not quite... Hang in there, old man. You got this. Chicken? Fire peanut. Alright, that's okay. We can make use of this. We'll get the book again. And the peanut expired. Well, shit. Oh, salmon. Those salmon take one hit. Or tuna, actually. Alright, so we've got to kind of stay away from the trees. Because they end up being very nasty. Because you can't go through them, but they can. Uh, we'll go garlic. Hang in there, old man. You got this. Oh, we got the bin chicken. Oh, yeah. Alright, Spellbinder. That's what we want. So, we can, we kinda can 
stand still, but just not when the bosses are available. So we got to kill this bin chicken. Garlic, King Bible. I uh, will go King Bible, since the garlic is already kind of up there. Try and even it out a bit. Chicken? Yes! Two bin chickens. It's a blessing. What are these guys like? Oh, they take a bit of a hit. Alright. Base damage for the book. Nice. In this bin chicken to die. Alright, we'll go garlic again. Oh, I got hit there. Light posts. Cash. Light post. Cash. Oh, there's a chest there. Now we don't get greedy. Level up. That was a big sack of gold too. Alright, we'll get the spell binder. We need to get that chest. But we gotta be careful not to get greedy. Alright. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Get some dopamine. Spellbinder. Nice. Alright. I like that. Because it's not something useless. And it's not something that's going to take up a slot that I might need later. Alright. We get the garlic again. Alright. There's some food. Nice. More cash. Can't, can't, be, can't, be, can't be disappointed with a bit of cash. We'll, we'll cash these guys outside. Sorry. Uh, we're going to get Clover. We want Lucky. He is Lucky Man because he is still alive. Unlike the Holy Man who died in pursuit of a book that doesn't exist. Yet. Alright. Um, we're going to go Garlic again. I want garlic buffed. Yeah, look at that. This is good. This is good. The jazz hands get a little too close, but once we get this this um, unholy Bible, we should be fine. And then when I make careless mistakes like I did just then, we should be okay. All right, we're gonna get the rune tracer. We're gonna stay on the rune tracer path as well. So we've got two open slots. I wonder if we can get like two evolutions going. Ooh, there's a big bin chicken. Alright. Kind of doing a bit better than last time. Alright. Um, spinach. Inflicted damage. Or rune tracer. We're going to go spinach since it's a passive. Because more damage is more better. -er. Yeah, those mummies get way too close. And it almost feels like the garlic isn't doing much to them either. Because they're not vampires. Alright, Spellbinder. Chest. Something good. Still only a single. So the luck hasn't kicked in yet. Is that the ice thingy? I think it is. Yeah. Last a second longer. That might actually get us out of a shitty situation if we're very careful. Ooh, there's a magnet. Don't get greedy though. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go spinch again. Wow, all that and we still are only one level. That's okay. That's alright. Oh. Careless. Oh, careless again. I was hoping that light post would break, but it didn't straight away. Bye, peanut. I should have waited, actually. I should have waited for a wave to come. 
you know, I'll watch people play this and I'll watch them do that. They wait for a wave to come and I'm like, that's smart. And then I don't do it because I'm an idiot. Alright, so we got damage up. So that should help us out a bit. Cash. Oh, it's only a coin though. But it is better than nothing. So the tuna coming in. Oh, some health. Nice. Old man is healthy now. Alright. Uh, this is not a very good spot to be in, actually. Ah, sweet. The old man carves his own path in life. By crushing tuna and mummies. Alright. Um... I'm going to go the Clover again. We seem to be doing okay for now. But it'd be nice if we can get some upgrades more frequently. So like when the chests drop, we get bigger ones. Alright, so yeah. We still can't quite sit still. Some chicken over there, but we'll leave that. Just in case I need to come back to it. I start getting careless. Big salmon and a little tuna and some big tuna and some little salmon and Godzilla, right. So there's some mummies in there, so you just gotta be careful. Right, uh, we got garlic again. So these guys die pretty quick, but we just gotta be careful of Godzilla. There's an attractor orb, or a magnet. We're going to make our way up there, but we've got to be careful. Don't get greedy. That's it. Godzilla would just fuck off. We could grab that magnet. There we go. Alright, what do we got? Garlic again. Clover. Oh, red gem. And a chest. Be careful, don't get greedy. Alright. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we got the clover, we got some. So we got damage, luck, and rune tracer. Nice. So he just sort of stands there. Oh, jazz hands. Did they die straight away? They're getting close. They really are. Spellwinder. But is that because they're getting through? Like, yeah, I think it's because, like, there's so many of them that they're actually just sort of going through and negating. Like, they're not respecting the, the garlic. How dare they not respect the garlic? Duplicator. We've got to have the duplicator. It's the law. We go around in circles like an idiot. So, don't know if it's strange to you, but I actually use WS and D for this. Go the Bible again, because we want that evolution. It should be very soon, actually. Yeah, see, they get through. So, it's almost like there's so many of them that they, um, they kind of, they, like, spawn. Um, like, when they're in an area like here... Um, and it's confined, they go through the trees and everything. But when they're sort of locked behind something, they sort of clip through it, and it's like they're clipping through. Cross with... Ooh, okay. Um, let's grab the cross, and we'll see what happens. Alright, we'll grab the rune tracer. Cross, clover. Um, we'll grab the clover again. Ooh, another duplicator. Yeah. Alright. Oh, Lynx. Little Godzillas. Little Tunas. Little Salmons. God, those Lynx are fast. That's okay. 
We seem to be doing alright. I'd really like a magnet anytime soon. That'd be great. Okay, we'll go the Bible again. Try and rush that evolution. Keep in mind the cross and the clover. I have not seen that one. I may have though, but I just don't remember. Red gem. Red gem. Oh, it doesn't do much anymore. Alright, alright. Ah, oh, we got the fishings. Fisher wolves? I can't remember what I called them. But they're going fishing anyway. Alright. Well, spinach, of course. Another red gem. More money? But you promised me mo money. My mo, my mo. Uh, King's Bible. Oh, yep. Starting to form. Chest. Didn't even see that. Is it a three or is it a five? That's only a three. That's okay. Rune Tracer, Bible, and the Ice Thingy. What does the Ice Thingy do? Yes, another Bible. That's cool. Yes. Damage by 5, effects last longer. Cooldown re reduction, right. Okay. Ooh, the Big Link. Big Link didn't last very long. Mustn't have, mustn't have not. Mustn't have not? Must not have unlocked too many hearts yet. There it is. Unholy Bible. Well, technically, they call it, I think it's Whispers. Yeah, Unholy Vespers. Nice. And there it is. Be gone, thoughts, for I have the unholy Bible. There is stuff more looter in here than you could ever hope to be. So yeah, so they will get past. Um, they will get past the red book, uh, only because just the way the game acts. So they will clip through. We got some sheepies. And there's a massive bin chicken. So now I want to focus on the next evolution, which is the cross. And the clover. Only because I just want to see what it does. So, yeah. There's the chest. Gimme, gimme. Cross. What does this one do? Base damage. Nice. I do like damage. It's good stuff. Alright, so... I'm not too sure what to go with next, actually. I think I need to have another passive. Um... Hmm. Let's go with Pentagram. I wonder if I could, if I can get my timing just right. And we get close to the end. And we wipe the screen. Because I know with an upgraded Pentagram, unless they've changed it, I think it keeps all, or like 50% of what drops. But we'll see. We'll have a look. Green Horse. Bin Chickens. We got the the Fisher Wolves. So yeah, we can just stand still for a moment. Alright. We'll go cross again. Try and level that one up a little bit more. There goes the chicken. Gimme gimme. Nice. 
another one second longer. I wonder if that'll come in. That might come in handy for later on as well. I'm pretty sure death is like invulnerable or something, but I have seen some people find ways around it. But I don't. I haven't seen anyone find a way around it in this map. They could have, but like I'm not aware of it. Ah, oh, yeah, bring it on. We're just going to stand here. We're just going to watch. So the icing's pretty good. The icing sort of gives you a way out if you're careful. And then that happens. That's even better. It's a shame about all the loot, but, you know. There's plenty more where that came from. Oh, man, look at that. This is the kind of meat spin you'd be happy to watch. All right. We'll do... I've, I'm thinking about the bracer, actually. But we'll see. I'm thinking bracer might be a good call, actually. Absolutely melting these. before we get melted ourselves by something. Alright, so we got the cross, because we want to try and upgrade the cross a bit more. Try and get to that evolution, because I want to see what it does. Got some tuners. So it looks like they're backing off a bit. We got links and horses. Ah, oh, and there's, there's boss, boss fisher dude. Fisher wolf. He's taking a pummeling. There we go. Alright. Gimme, gimme. Cross, cross, ice. Alright, so the cross is base damage. Alright, so it's another one second on the ice. And speed and base area. Alright, sweet. I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. There's some chicken. Leave that there just in case. Pent oh. Well, no we won't. It's gone. There's some chicken on the floor and it's gone. Alright, so again... Yeah, we'll just keep going in that direction. We'll upgrade all our weapons, and then we'll play around with the other thingies. The other thingies like the pentagram, if it's going to show up for us. Very fleet will soon. Alright, there's Adult Link. He just got, he just got bullied. Pentagram. Nice. So, this is cooldown reduction, isn't it? Yeah, reduced by 10 seconds. Alright, there we go. There it is. 25% chance to not erase items. Double pentagram. This man with his double pentagram. And his unholy book of only fans. Because it spins. Get it? I'm sorry. Ooh, there's a time stop. Let's get it. We'll go bully all these guys. Alright, we're gonna cross again. Imagine that. Spawn in and die within the same amount of time you just spawned in. Like, nope. The ultimate form of graveyard killing or spawn camping. And we got the dwarves. There's nothing witty about the dwarves, no witty names or anything. Just dwarf. And they're just mediocre. 
Ah, uh, sweet. Alright, do they come through? They do. Oh, kind of, but not really. See, we, we rally. We meet them at the, the hot gates where their numbers will account for nothing. Glorious. Look at it. See, with the rune tracers, because they bounce off the walls and come back, they actually do quite a significant amount of damage. we got boss sheepy. This might, this might bite me in the end, because that might drop the chest and I might not be able to get to it. If he does. It looks like he's going to. We'll move down a little bit. Alright. Pentagram. Another 10 second cooldown. Oh no, we've moved it over. That's nice. Alright, gimme gimme. What do we got? Give me something good. Sword? Sword? You did not ask for a sword. Evolved cross. Can deal critical damage. Okay. Show me your sword, old man. Oh, I think I have seen this before. Okay. Okay. Alright, so you've got two passive slots as well. So I might go for that, um, the gauntlet that does the projectile speed. So you got these big goblin dudes as well. They look like they're drunk. So, I, I think it's, I, I think they're supposed to be like breathing fire and they're holding a shield. But when I first saw it, I honestly thought he was, they were like holding a mug of ale and they were vomiting because they're drunk. And that's what I'm going to stick with. Nice. The old man says back up. So you back up. Alright. Your pentagram again. Because we want to upgrade the pentagram. So we haven't done much exploring yet, and there's a reason for that. I did go exploring in my last video, and we found that um, elk thing, that glowing green elk, and my god, did he take a lot of damage. So, now we've got the snakes from Aladdin. He looks like Jafar when he was a snake, sort of. Oh! Wow. I just was not paying attention at all. He got through. Well, he is a sneaky snake, so that makes sense. Oh, well. So, yeah, Rune Tracer damage. The Rune Tracer does a lot of damage. So, that's that's something to take into consideration. And the DPS. The DPS on the Heaven Sword was actually pretty good, considering it was only up for, like, around two minutes. So, yeah. There you go. Alright. So, that was my run. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.